Prasad, we're very happy that we have this merit to, to understand that there is a purpose for our being. The purpose is to love and to care and to hope and to believe. And the Creator Himself is revealing this wisdom to us. We're His children and He's being very generous with us, opening our eyes and our hearts to understand that there is a meaning. There's a meaning to our lives. Yes, there's a meaning to our lives and, 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 and we know it. And it's such a privilege and it's such an awesome thing to know that you have a purpose, that you have a reason to live. It's, uh, it's fantastic. So we're in Likutem Oran and Rabbeinu is telling us amazing things that, um, that all of the bounty and the Shefa is coming down from those holy three letters Ein, Bet, and Shin. Shin is a letter that is, is hinting us about the name of Hashem Itbarach, like <coughs> it on the, on, on the crown, on our glory, on the tefillin itself, we have the letter Shin that is teaching us that we need to connect ourselves to the Creator. We see that the Shin, we have three hands that we should open our, our hands to Hashem Barach and to pray to Hashem Barach and to take our head up to Hashem Barach and always to be like that, like the letter Shin. Your head is focusing to Hashem. Two hands focusing to Hashem. Aiming your heart to Hashem Barach. Everything to Hashem. Shin, everything is going to Hashem. It's Lishma for Hashem Barach. It's all, it's all for heaven. And this is why it's written on the Tefillin. And Ein Bet, we said that those are the letters of the holy name of 72 letters of Hashem in Barach. Dak Laliut HaGvanin and HaGevanin, and those are, the, so the, the, the word Esev, grass, is um, holding, uh, including all of the colors, all of the shades. Besadcha Livemtecha. You need, um, you need, and then you will have the power that your body will be fed, will be nurtured um, in purity. When the person, is ma when the mind of the person is not set to Hashem Barach and he's not always hoping for Hashem, and he doesn't believe in Hashem Barach, so then he's always suffering, always his body is dysfunctioning, and he's always weak, always he's got, oh, and ouch, and I, and ach, and, and it's all because that the person is not connected to his to to the source of energy. This is why, because you're you're not connected, so your battery is low all of the time. You you can't you can't function. The reason that the person cannot function is because that he is not connected to the source of energy, source of life. Moshe Rabbeinu, when he was 120 years, why the Torah is telling us? That he was, his eyes were perfectly and uh, perfect, see perfectly, and 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 uh, and and er, he was healthy completely, and and nothing, nothing been damaged in his physical body. Why? Because his soul was shining so much through his body that it was healing the the, the body completely. The body was was perfect. Everything. Why? Because it was receiving everything it needs. The prayer to Hashem gives life to the person. If you see a person that is, uh, that is sick, how, how, what are you going to do to help him? How are you going to support him? How are you going to help him to be healthier, to be stronger? The only thing that you can do for him is to strengthen him, to give him advice on how to come closer to the Creator in faith. That's what you should do. You should tell him that he should trust Hashem.